hearing from a Luther College student from Myanmar whose family is right in the middle of it all. She says she fears for her family's safety. Megan Zebel is joining us live with more. Good morning. Good morning, Jess. The people of Myanmar have been suffering ever since the military seized the country more than two weeks ago. The 54 million citizens of Myanmar in Southeast Asia want a democratic government. They have endured decades upon decades of military rule. The National League for Democracy candidate won the election at the end of January by a landslide. And just when they thought they were finally going to have a real democracy, on February 1st, the military staged a coup claiming election fraud. Since then, homes have been set on fire, drinking water has been poisoned, people have been shot in the street, and the internet has been shut down. Nora Niemant is an international student from Myanmar studying at Luther College. Her family is still there, right in the middle of the destruction. It's just been getting worse. I don't know when I'll get to go home. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, um, these days I've been having a lot of night terrors. And it comes in many different forms. I have night terrors about drowning. I have night terrors about gunshots, which I've heard before in my country, in my own home. And I'm worried for my family. And um, I've been having, I've been doing a lot of petition writing and I've been appealing to people. So I would also have nightmares about numbers because numbers matter in the support we can get. And those kind of things have been haunting me. Um, in my waking and when I'm sleeping. Nora says her mom is supporting protesters and her dad works on a ship and isn't able to contact any of the family right now. And the Midwest may seem far removed from the situation in Myanmar, but there are still some things you can do. Nora says sharing the story, writing to politicians, and signing petitions are just some ways you can help. And at this point, there is no end to the mayhem in sight. President Joe Biden issued sanctions, but some say more still needs to be done. Reporting live, Megan Zempel, KTTC News. Thank you, Megan.